Hey there, I'm Kyle from Client Manager. I'm really excited to walk you through Client Manager, the simple client onboarding and management tool for freelancers and agencies. So with that said, let's get straight into the demo. Now, let's, uh, now that we're in, let's take a look at the dashboard. So I hope you can tell that we went for a very clean interface and with no flap, right? So on the left-hand side, we've got, starting with the dashboard, we've got clients, tasks and projects, proposals, time tracking, leads pipeline, invoices, templates, community, email, and also this new and upcoming. So these are like features that we've shipped and then upcoming features upcoming in the future. So starting at the top, we have got this, which is reminders, daily reminders upcoming uh, for the day or for tomorrow, um, basically events or tasks. Then we've got testimonials. Maybe it's, you know, a client that has signed a proposal or a contract or an intake form, you know, maybe you've been tagged by a team member. Basically the in important information will be yeah, in app. And there are email notifications as well, but you can toggle that off in the settings. Goals, maybe you've got, you know, an annual or a monthly goal for yourself or for your team, and you would add that, yeah. Now this is the time tracking. So let me just give you a quick example. Select task, let's go. Let's, go. let's just go start timer. And let's say we're working on a task. This is how the time tracking works. And I'll just keep this running for now. On this new CTA, it's basically new actions, right? So maybe we want to create a proposal or add a client or add a lead or create an invoice, invite a team member, quick actions, right? And then this is just the usual settings page. So let me just cancel this for now. And then this will save to our time tracking section for this client that I'll walk through a bit later. So in the dashboard, we've got clients, maybe we want to add a client, we've got the relevant information, we want to add maybe additional contact, you know, address, fat, all of those types of things. Let me just close that. Yeah, team members. We want to add a team member, and if you're on the small or large team plan, team plan, this is when you can add a team member. Obviously, if you're in the freelancer, you cannot add. Uh, I should add that default role. So we've got three currently, which is general for employees, PM like project managers and managers, and admin for owners. And yeah, that is that is it. And then we move to the calendar, right? This is just like the events or tasks for a specific day that you you know add. Um, this is for your specific calendar. I should mention that it does not at the moment sync with Google Calendar or Arcal. We should get to that probably early next year. We are working on some big features at the moment that I cannot wait to show you. should also mention that this whole dashboard, we're working on an awesome design to sort of make this a lot more relevant to your business. So I'm showing it to you as is, uh, but just know that we're making it better. Also, I should mention, maybe it's a quick side note. So if you go to the website, website climbmanager.io, you click on the roadmap. These are the upcoming features that we're working on, right? So there's a lot of planned features, suggestions. Maybe you want to give us a quick vote um, on you know the features that you really want. We're working on these. These are done so yeah let me just close that and then also if you do want to contact me contact support or click contact or even the live chat on the website and then either i or a member of the team will help you out so yeah now let's get into the meetiness and where the magic really happens right and that is the client management so starting off we can import clients via csv maybe we've got a different platform that we want to import it from whatever it is so this will be the dashboard let me show you an example of a pre-populated client dashboard that I have. Bob the Builder. So this is the client dashboard and let's start from the top. These are the client details you know, that we have for the client. We want to add some information there, maybe with some notes. I want to just add, you know, some notes. And then team members, what's cool about, you know, each client is you can assign different team members to them because maybe client A will have Bob on the team or client B will have Susan and client C will have both. Uh, depending on you know the client so and then yeah we've just got the usual information you know the name the role and then the hourly rate and now i should mention that when it comes to the hourly rate only the admin and project manager can see these amounts uh, same thing for when it comes to proposals and contracts you know like the sensitive information only limited to admin and pm general employees cannot see this information Alrighty, and then we've got the projects dashboard. So what's cool about this is you've got a client that you're dealing with different projects. Maybe it's a website design, maybe it's copywriting, maybe it's ads, maybe it's SEO, and they're all different projects with different tasks. So we can group them together in the relevant projects. This we'll see here. And then this section, this is basically, you know, all the different important information relating to managing this client. Starting with assets, and this we have relevant documents, media, designs. So let's say we want to add some doc uh, document, we'll just give it a name, upload the file, and we want to paste the URL. There we can store the relevant information. 
we've got some documents invoices i'm going to walk you through how to create an invoice from scratch and how that looks like but it syncs in the from the dashboard also to the section here contracts i'll also walk you through how to create this reports maybe if you've got like a monthly seo report or you know web design or technical report miscellaneous we've got here and yeah proposals i'm going to walk you through how to create that Questionnaire is like a client intake form. So we sign a client, we need some information from them. We send them this form, which is a URL. They fill it in, we get it, and boom, there we go. Invoices, I'll walk you through that. And then services, so this is a very simple, you know, monthly or once-off services. Maybe we want to upsell, make some notes for the client that we, you know, maybe you want to share it with the team. Hey, we actually do these types of services for this client. So very simple. And then danger zone if we want to delete the client. So that is pretty much how the client dashboard looks like. Now let me actually walk you through proposals. So let's actually start with proposals. Let's create one. If we have existing proposals, we can upload them. Uh, but let's just build a proposal. Now we've got three different options, right? So we've got a default template, or we can use a template, which is a reusable template that we can, that we create for specific clients, right? So let's say we create a web design template or proposal for client A, and we want to reuse that for client B, so we don't waste time. This is when we would use it, or we want to build from scratch. So let's just use the default template provided in Client Manager. This is actually the exact same template that I use for my business. So let's say new default. Ah. Okay, and then yeah, we will just edit, you know, the relevant information. Maybe we want to make this like bold. We want to change the color. Then you know all the different information. Yeah, we want to add some images. We want to add a table. We can do all of that stuff. Yeah. So we go to the bottom, and we want to add our signature. And what's cool about Client Manager is we've got text, image, and draw. So image, we want to upload a you know signature, or we want to draw. So let's just say, I want to just type it for now. Okay, and then I'll just reload. And then what we do, maybe we want to, you know, view the preview, can check it out, close, and then we copy this, take the URL, and then we send it to the client. And I'm going to show you how that looks shortly. But for now, I should mention that we are working on in-app emails that you can send without leaving Client Manager to your client. So maybe it's proposals, contracts, index form, whatever it is, you can send it to a client. That'll come in the future. But for now, we just got the manual approach. So let's say there. So open up a new tab and then now the client would review the proposal so we go to the bottom and then the client signature let's say it's client name and then we'll just reload and there is the client signature and then we would then get notified in the notifications you know that they signed your proposal and it will save you know to the relevant section so that is how proposals work uh, very clean straightforward and also shows in our proposal dashboard, which we'll get to shortly. Uh, let me walk you through the, the questionnaire client intake questionnaire form. So again, same examples, you know, we've got a default template that you can use. You can reuse an existing template that you create or build from scratch. So let's just keep it simple. You use a default. Let me just go uh, new default questionnaire. And yeah, these are these different questions, right? So let's say also what's nice is let's say I want to move this down. You know, you want to reorder it, you want to delete, you want to edit. And also we can add new questions. So let's say we give you title, placeholder question, required, not required, the different types. So it's maybe it's a text input, a file, image, files. Yeah. So let's say we're happy with this. Now we would go to view. We would just review and make sure that we're happy. We would go copy link, send it to the client. And then now the client would see this. And you know this will be like all the uh, let's say they answer question three questions it'll be three of thirty, and they go through all of the information, add it in, you know, upload the relevant files, save, and then we would get notified in our let me just close that in our notifications that the client has completed the onboarding questionnaire, and also it'll save that we can get the information from the client dashboard. So that is how that works. Now let me actually show you the contracts, right? So we go to contracts. Build a contract, same thing as you know proposals and uh, client intake form that I showed. Let's use the default template again. This is what I use, and yeah, it works works really well. Same same thing you know with the with the signatures you know works exactly the same way as proposals, and that is that is all with the client dashboard that I wanted to show. Now let's look at the tasks and projects. So this is all tasks and projects for all clients grouped together, which is cool. So let's say we want to expand this. And yeah, I, I really think like uh, the task interface is like Notion and Trello having a baby. Uh, we went for a very clean interface and look. And I should mention, we're actually working on a shareable Kanban URL that you can send it to a client and you can collab together, give them different permissions. Maybe it's edit permissions or view permissions or whatever. But I'm getting a bit sidetracked. That is just also in the pipeline.
so yeah let's say you know uh, i should mention that all of this is editable you know you want to create like a different column you want to maybe edit some edit the different colors you can do that and yeah let's just so you know you, you will just drag and drop it and let's increase or we'll expand this one and here's the title of our task you know we want to give it some labels we want to give it a different status we want to add some time tracking uh, we can do that assign a different team members we've got the description we've got media they want to upload maybe it's some relevant content and then the subtasks relating to the specific task so let's say you know we haven't done that and then we want to add that information and then we can also collab with team members you know we'll just tag them and chat to them yeah so a very clean uh, approach that we went for and yeah let's say we want to go to the projects and yeah so, th so this is the web design project for above the building in this case for this client we can see the project management uh, these th this is the task this is the time tracking relating to this project so let's say we go to view all you can see you know uh, all the all the relevant information yeah should also mention that there's general monthly and yearly tasks which i think is important so think of it almost like different workspaces uh, for that and then we've got the time tracking so let's say we can view all our time tracking information you know weekly monthly total you know all the activities that we that we have across the whole team for this project and what's cool is we can add manual time as well as adding the timer there so uh, yeah that is i think i think that is pretty much mostly what i want to show you on that front and then we've got proposals uh, let's see you know we've got different proposals for different clients we send them multiple proposals update the different statuses should mention that for now it is manual we are working on dynamic status updates so let's say maybe you've already sent it maybe the client has already viewed it um, maybe they've already eventually we'll sync it into like invoices and everything but we'll get there so i just want to let you know that and yeah time tracking let me show you this dashboard so this is time tracking across all clients and all projects so let's say we expand this we can see there uh, all the different team members and if we wanted to export csv we can do that now let's take a look at leads and we know that before a client becomes a client they are a lead or a prospective client and this would be our pipeline you know maybe we want to put them in a different funnel want to add a new uh, you know column whatever it is also it works the same way as like uh, the task right so drag and drop and we want to edit some information and the data added we want to change you know the different status on where they are in the funnel we can do that we want to change the lead source where did they come from and then we want to add some notes and we want to send a proposal or convert to a client and then i'll show in the client dashboard section and invoices let me walk you through this quite briefly um, so this is our dashboard and let's say we go to create invoice let's go elements musk continue to invoice we can either upload an existing you know pdf invoice or build an invoice we can use a template or build from scratch so that, again this is the reusable template so maybe it's like web design uh, invoice or marketing invoice we can create that and then just use that but for now i'm going to build from scratch we've got standard which is once off and recurring maybe it's like monthly bi-monthly or annual um, so let's just go for standard for now and then let's go new don't have to give this a label okay wait there we do and then client name uh Tesla. okay let's go 47 onion onion lake uh, that number we don't have to add that my information company name let's just do that okay i should also mention that this information will if it's if you don't want to do the template uh, route the reusable template we are working on default information that will be in the settings hopefully in the next coming weeks so let's go next invoice uh, number we've got the currency which is our default currency set in our settings uh, invoice date due date fat percentage if we wanted to you know it's optional now we add our service right so maybe it's like an hourly service but marketing we've got let's go there and let's go there or maybe want to add you know another one or fixed doesn't matter so 56 and 3 go next discount if you wanted to add then in the payment method i'm going to briefly walk through uh, the difference is so bank transfer that's like your standard electronic uh, you know eft uh, payment and then we've got stripe and then paper so if you select stripe this will be you create like a payment link and it's going to show on the invoice they'll say like click pay here uh, pretty much so let me just show you bank transfer and then this will be like you know you would add your relevant information xyz 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 you'll go create invoice and yeah this is you know the preview of how the invoice looks like and then once we're happy we'll just copy invoice link send it to the client and then they can download it uh, or you or we can download it and then send it as a pdf now let me just show you how it'll look like if we have to change this to stripe uh, 
And let's go. Let's say I'm going to Stripe and create my own URL. Go create invoice. And there we have it. So pay here will be like a clickable link and it links to that Stripe URL that you created or PayPal, same thing. And then it'll show uh, in the invoices dashboard. And the reusable templates, um, as I mentioned, so you create something once, you want to duplicate it for a client, and you can do that uh, for a new client. So I already showed invoices. Um, I showed everything really, but let's just say we wanted to do uh, contracts. So let's say new contract. And it says app development, build from scratch, or use an existing template. Let's just do that. And then it's a boom, I'm happy. I want to save this template. And then I go back, scroll, and there it is. So then I will just use this template. Let's say I want to use it for a different client or a new client. There we go. Uh, so it saves a lot of time. I should also mention that we are going to also work on a lot more default templates that you can choose from, but that'll be definitely next year. And in the community, this is just like the Facebook community. If you need some help and support and you want to, you know, just chat and connect with fellow um, client manager users, uh, we can do that. Email us, you can just email support at climatemanager.io if you have any trouble. And also for me, you can message or email kyle at climatemanager.io and I'll personally respond. So let's say you want to check your settings. And it's the usual, you know, information, you know, your account information, uh, email notifications, if you want to toggle that on or off, your default currency, your team members, and that is pretty much client manager uh, in a nutshell. Um, I really hope that you found value in this demo. If you have any questions, then please reach out to me, support at clientmanager.io, someone will help you, or either reach out to me directly, kyle at clientmanager.io. We've really put in a lot of effort the past year to make client manager even better. Man, if I could show you uh, what we had at the beginning of the year versus now, it's a massive, massive improvement. And I'll actually uh, keep the old demo video, the very first demo that we had. You'll see it's like got like two or three different sections on the left-hand side. So we're really investing a lot of time and effort into making client manager the go-to all-in-one tool and platform for freelancers and agencies. So yeah, I don't want to ramble. Hope you found value in it. And I hope you um, actually use client manager. You can sign up uh, for a free trial, seven-day free trial at clientmanager.io. That's it from me. Thank you so much.